Hey, hey, Mitch the RV guy here and I'm bringing you something that is truly a classic. This is a 1990 Nuwa Hitchhiker 5th wheel. 34 feet. It is absolutely perfect for full timers. In fact, the customers that traded this in have been long, long time customers from us. Oh boy, like 20 years. They bought something just a little bit newer, a little bit nicer, but this is still in great shape. They lived in it right up until they traded it in from us just a short time ago. No leaks, AC works great, refrigerator works great, electrical works great. Super nice shape inside and out for the year, of course. Little bit of sun fade because it is a 90. Not bad at all. It gives you tons of space for living, especially for the money. This is such an incredible steal. 7,995 bucks. I'm gonna show you all around this so you can really see what it is that you're getting. Now it's pretty hard to find these 34 to 37 foot fifth wheels that are designed for full-time living without them being just all beat to heck. It's nice to have one that's in good shape. If you're looking for a good value on a place to live, this has definitely got to be something you look at. Let's take a look on the inside. When you first come in, it's greeted by ample counter space here. Plenty of room for you to cook on. Nice four burner range. That means it was a higher end RV. Think about it. Almost all RVs you see have the three burner. When it goes to four, it's because at the time it was made, it was very expensive. Nice Samsung microwave. Micro zapper is working great. Plenty of storage everywhere. You got a nice area up here for you to set either plants or decorations up here above the actual storage. And tons of space everywhere that you look on this thing. Look at all the space here in the kitchen. Nice refrigerator here. Magic Chef. Look at all the storage space inside there. Much, much larger than the one that you typically find in an RV. It's your pantry. Slide out. And lots of room here in the living area. See all this space? Now that's a brand new Lazy Boy that comes with it. Plenty of storage room there in the rear. In addition to these nice large windows that give you nice views out. Let's set sunlight in so you can relax. Nice desk area here in the rear for you to put computers or laptops or your television. Now most people end up throwing out the furniture that comes in these when they get them and they put whatever furniture in they like. Nice large slide area here. Plenty of windows. Here's your dining room area with your nice dinette that does convert into a sleeper if need be. And there's storage underneath the dinette and again a nice large window for you to relax and look out of and even more storage up here. They have a real big AC unit here. Now this is before they did the ducted ACs in the roof. So you'll see instead of just having the AC unit down there, there's actually a ducting channel here that runs all the way across that spits out a lot of cold air up here into the other living area. So you don't have one area of your coach be cool and the other area be warm. Now coming down the hallway, you're gonna see the bathroom on this is just massive especially as RVs and fifth wheels go. Take a look at this large area that you can have to get ready here. Very similar to like you would find in a master bedroom. Nice large actual real shower basin here. One solid piece fiberglass in real good shape. Lots of area around the toilet here so you're nice and comfortable. And talk about storage. There is all sorts of storage in the bathroom area in here all sorts look at how deep these cabinets are they are humongous wow look at all this seriously seven thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars guys for a 34 foot fifth wheel air conditioning plenty of living area doesn't leak power works great don't know what else anybody could ask for Look at all this space here in the master bedroom. Definitely very, very nice. 
Now there are one or two little cosmetic issues throughout for sure. For example, like you'll see in a few places, the wallpaper is coming up just a little bit. A glue gun to take care of that or, or just forget it. Of course, it's a $7,000 fifth wheel. But as you can see overall, guys, this is in great, great shape. Definitely something to consider if you are looking for a place and you're wanting a nice large fifth wheel that you can relax and, and spend more than just a few days and something that you can spend a few weeks or a few months in or even a few years in and really not feel cramped and have all the amenities that you're used to, this new Wah Hitchhiker is definitely something to look at. I'm Mitch the RV Guy. Give me a call on my cell, 916-856-7342. Man, do I got a lot of fifth wheels in this price range. Not a whole lot of them as nice as this, but you might want to check out my Alpha and my Prowler as well. Thanks, and I hope to hear from you soon.